Mm -hmm. Well, you know, one of the things that I've seen that has kind of become a little infuriating is some of the people, even the Never Trumpers on the right, who have been talking about how, well, she definitely was in the wrong, but this doesn't reflect poorly on him. And, you know, her politics are not his politics. I call BS on that for one reason. Um, when you are the Supreme Court justice, there's a code of ethics, a code of conduct that you need to adhere to. And the fact that when that case came up that he did not recuse himself, um, that's on him. You can't, I mean, you can't sit there and you can't say, oh, he shouldn't have, you know, he shouldn't be held responsible for what his wife has done. And that could be true, but he is responsible for his own conduct. And and any kind of credibility, any kind of ethics, anything that shows that you take the job seriously would have resulted in him recusing from those cases. So I'm not buying a whole don't blame him. Blame him not for her actions, but blame him for when it came into her actions and the way that his workplace the way that the, the privilege he has as a Supreme Court justice, he did not step uh, back, he did not recuse, and he should completely be blamed for that. So I'm not buying this whole, she's not him. And dude, the other thing that I realized, I was doing some of the text messages. Not only is she corrupt, she's a whack job. She is an absolute whack job. And she is not a healthy person. She is not an emotionally, mentally healthy person. If I was a relative, I'd be like, we need to get Jenny some help. She's in a cult, clearly, right? She's a QAnon kind of conspiracy theorist. That part is clear. I couldn't agree with you more. I, I'll say two points to your whole, her politics, not his politics. The first point is, I disagree because if you knew that her text messages with, were around with Mark Meadows, if, if her stuff was going to get uh, uh, kind of swept into that and you knew that and you purposely voted against it, you make it her politics. In order for her politics not to be your politics, you have to recuse yourself from the situation. And he put himself in the middle of the situation. So you automatically are, are guilty with association there. The second part of that is this whole Mark Meadows stuff is after the fact that we know from reporting that she was in close communication with Rod DeSantis. And in those communications with Ron DeSantis, she said something along the lines of me and Clarence don't talk about it a lot, but he's down with it or he is part of he agrees with me. She's kind of hinted at it. So there's clearly a, a objectivity problem here at minimum. I'm not saying we should throw him in jail and stuff like that. But if uh, I don't I hate to play this because we play by different rules. But if this was RBG or Breyer or what have you. Oh, or if this was eventually Judge Jackson, they would have hearings tomorrow. They would have, and Republicans control the House and Senate. He would be impeached, or she would be impeached the next day. So, if by that measure, we should make a big deal out of it, personally. Uh -huh.